when multinational construction companies um, blacklist people just for being a member of a trade union and when we complain about health and safety uh, and they sack us, nothing happens. When they destroy the evidence about it that's meant to be going to the High Court, nothing happens. Not a single one of these directors of multinational firms has even been interviewed by the police. But when we dare to protest about it, when we dare to protest about health and safety on Crossrail and blacklisting, we get arrested for it. This isn't just about blacklisting, this isn't just about safety, this is about our democratic right to protest. Um, and we're going to use this trial to expose what the uh, employers have been up to and expose the police spying on us uh, and expose the uh, restrictions on democratic right to protest. Thanks for everyone for coming along and, uh, you know, what do you think of the suit? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Collins here in court today as a witness uh, when Dave was arrested on uh, the Crossrail, uh, sorry, Crossfell uh, campaign uh, demonstration was holding at the Hilton Hotel. Um, I'm here today to give evidence and to expose the companies for what they're worth about how they're sacking uh, construction workers on the Crossrail project for raising issues on health and safety. Uh, they're employing everyone for agencies and sacking them for raising any issues because there's no direct uh, responsibility to the companies which are employing them for agencies. So we're here today really to expose them and name and shame them for what they really are. We've been in court number two today with Dave. Uh, unfortunately, it was adjourned until January 25th to 26th because the court, who are underfunded uh, uh, and under-resourced, didn't have they hadn't allocated enough time for the hearing today. And um, we are determined to vigorously defend Dave at the trial on January 25th, 26th. He has democratic right to protest. That is safeguarded within Article 11 of the Human Rights Act 1998, which the Conservatives now want to repeal, um, but hopefully we will have that opportunity to do so in January. I think the district judge today was quite content that we do have judicial authority which will support our case and was quite dismayed that the prosecution weren't quite so prepared. It is surprising that the prosecution who need to prove their case seem to be suggesting that we should be disproving their case. Uh, hopefully they'll be more prepared when we return in January. But I think I've said earlier, if they are going to bring arbitrary prosecutions such as this, restricting people's right to protest, the least they can do is prepare on the next occasion. Absolutely thank my, my heroic uh, legal uh, representation. JC and uh, Liam have been uh, representing blacklisted workers since, uh, since the files first came out. Uh, they've been doing brilliant work and you know, genuinely they should be uh, applauded for the stuff they've done. Um, the, uh, the, the thing that uh, I, made me smile today was when JC got the uh, judge to make the uh, police give us primary uh, disclosure because we know that the uh, police had intelligence on us before we started this protest. Um, we want to see a copy of this intelligence because every time we've asked them are they spying on the Black Support Group, they tell us they can neither confirm nor deny that and say it's because of national security reasons. Well, I'm up in court with intelligence they've got. I would demand to see uh, the uh, intelligence they've got on me. And if they've got the police files on me, they've got police files on the Blacklist Support Group, we should be seeing that as part of the uh, uh, trial as well.